Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about how to utilize the Keyword Planner in Google Ads um, to discover new keywords and learn more about your business and about how your consumers interact online. So, you know, we use this Keyword Planner for a lot of our proposals and a lot of understanding, right, um, what can we get in this market if we were to bid on certain keywords, on certain match types and things like that, right? Um, so, as you can see, you know, we've got a ton of reports in here. We've got mortgage companies, real estate agents, law firms, um, AC, HVAC, financial services, and, and even like more granular, like VA loans, right? So we can jump into one of the more popular ones here. Um, we can go into, or actually, let's start from scratch. Let's just go to discover new keywords, right? So if you're a business owner, you're an ad agency, and you're trying to figure out how do I use this tool, right? I have, you know, a law firm that, that I'm working for, right? So go into law firm, just type in, you know, terms you know you want to rank for law firm maybe you want to do you know personal injury um maybe you want to just do lawyer and then and then attorney right so we'll type this in and then we're just going to hit you know get results and google's going to give you hey here's a ton of keywords all across the u.s um, that you're going to want to target, right, that people are searching. So we're going to filter this by or sort this by average monthly search. And we see right off the bat, maybe I don't want to do bankruptcy attorney. Maybe I just want to do normal lawyer, right? So just highlight all of these and then, you know, click the ones you don't like. You can select all, you know, 1,000. Or you can just do the top 500, right? Um, and we're going to create the new ad group. We're going to just say, you know, lawyer, lawyer and we'll leave it at that and then we're going to leave this at broad match just because i want to show you you know the different variations of you know what broad match does versus exact match and we're going to just add this to the plan um and boom it'll add the first 500 there um and you know again when you create ad groups you want to create some granularity right if you're going to have personal injury put that in one if you're going to have general lawyer, attorney, put that in another ad group, right? I, I'm kind of lumping these all together just so I can show you more about this tool and, you know, how you can derive value from it, right? Uh, okay, so this is all going to be in your plan. So now you can go to your forecast, right? And this is when you can start to, you know, push and pull and figure out really, you know, how should I bid on these? What keywords should I use and shouldn't use? And what match types are going to be good for my business, right? So say you were a lawyer in Atlanta, First thing you want to do is you want to list this plan so you can kind of reference it and save it. So put Lawyer Atlanta and save. Um, you're going to go to the geo right here, and you're going to just select Atlanta. Um, and maybe even start with the DMA. That might give you a, you know, a larger scope of what you can target. Um, and then hit save. Um, and then do this. You're going to want to put your conversion metrics. So, at, you know, turnkey, our conversion metrics are upwards of, you know, 25%, right? But the average is going to be, I like to put about 8% if you're targeting, um, you know, exact match variation. And you have somewhat of a, of a good landing page. So hit save right here. Um, and then this is going to start to give you some conversion metrics because basically Google's going to work this thing backwards. It's going to be like, okay, if you target these 500 words, your average CPCs at broad match is about 37 cents, which, you know, that might not be accurate <laughs> depending on um, the keywords. Uh, and then it's going to say, okay, if at 37 cents, we can get you 2,000 clicks. At 8% conversion rate, we can get you 180 conversions, and that gives you about you know, $4 CPA. Um, we're going to come down here and change this up just a little bit. Um, and then you can also even adjust your bid strategy in here to manual CPC. I usually like to leverage manual CPC in the forecasting tool as in, you know, normal campaigns as well, because it gives you some more leverage on, okay, what are my CPCs actually going to be? Let's just throw in a $4. If I were to get a $5 CPC, what that would look like. Um, and then Google also gives you like the scalability of how far this can go. So for these keywords, like you can potentially spend upwards of you know four hundred thousand dollars in that TMA using broad match, right? You know if you want to hone this in and make this an exact match campaign, the trick here is going to be highlighting the keywords, um, editing match type, hit exact match type, and then that will really change this forecast because now this isn't going from just you know if you look at match types, broad match can trigger hundreds of thousands of different keywords. 
whereas exact match, there's only a few variations, right? You know, misspellings, plurals, things like that. So now we're going to scroll up. This forecast looks a lot different. Google went from saying you could spend $500,000 in a month to saying at your peak, maybe 60 maybe 70 without starting to lose some efficiencies, right? Um, and so now you can start to configure this a little a little bit better, right? Let's filter this by clicks. Um, and let's look through this. Okay, I, I don't want to do medical power. I don't want to do durable. Um, I'm not an employment attorney, and you can remove this from the plan, right? Um, and then it changes the outlook a little bit more, right? Um, you see the numbers shift around, and it can say, okay, at this rate using exact match, you can spend at five, basically $5,000 a month um, at an average CPC of three bucks, about 126 leads at $38 CPA. Um, and then you can, you know, again, you can play around with this. You know, you can build out more ad groups and make this really granular and really comprehensive. And then when you're ready, you can just create a campaign or you can download it into a spreadsheet and, and kind of do a lot of things with that, right? So, Overall, this tool is really effective and just like kind of understanding, you know, what the marketplace is like. And the, the great thing about Google Ads is that you know, if you have an account, this is completely free to use. Um, and I, again, I highly recommend you leverage this. Um, and one more thing I did want to add about this, I kind of forgot, but I'll touch on it now. You can scroll all the way down here and actually touch on what zip codes are going to be effective, right? Um, so let's see, it's all the way at the bottom. Okay, so you can look at you know, the congressional districts, the cities, even the top zip codes. Um, so if you're looking at a whole state, um, you can, in, in this example, we're looking at the DMA of Atlanta, so not just Atlanta, but that whole market. It shows you, you know, what what's going to be driving most of the cost, right? Um, and then that can help determine on how granular you want to get in your location targeting as well. Um, yeah, so overall, you know, Please, if you like this video, you know, like, subscribe, uh, give us a comment if you want to see similar styles. Um, we'll do a few more of these types of keyword planner videos. Um, yeah, we hope to see you in the next one.